conquered all of Europe. Never gonna sure, stop. Here is them to sure, be. Liverpool versus everybody. Um, how's everybody doing? Um, it's Friday, and we have Liverpool Football Club to look forward to playing Saturday against Stoke. Before I get into it, I want to say I had a birthday yesterday. I uh, really enjoyed it. I'm at the point now in life, I just turned 34, by the way, anybody's curious, um, where I'm, I'm very, uh, gifts, I, I just want things that are simple. That's just being thankful for another year, another day, spending time with family. Had a two-leg affair with, with Onyx yesterday in football. I'm pretty sure he won on aggregate, but we might settle it with the final game. Um, but, um, and also just the early birthday gift of, of Liverpool beating Roma. Uh, we all know about it. Um, I took the bait on Mane. Um, apparently he does have some kind of issue, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. Um, there's a chance that he even could play tomorrow. Um, it'll be interesting. Klopp is talking about playing a, still a strong side, and I get that, and I, I'm on board with that. You know, we can't, you, you want to be careful with injuries and all of that, but, you know, this is important, man. It's important for Stoke for sure. Maybe more so, I, I don't know. I think that's, you know, Arguably, you could say that, but arguably, you could say it's, it's just as important for us, you know, maintaining that top four status for the Champions League. So, um, big game. We all know about it. It's a big game. Um, so, I expect a strong-ish lineup. Um, I don't think it'll be the same lineup from the Roma game. Then again, it could be. Um, listen, obviously, the, the idea is that we can get up on Stoke early and then rest a few guys. Um, we know football, you get three subs, so... Uh, maybe that's Mane, Salah, and Firmino, assuming that could be the lineup. Uh, but whatever it is, we can we can rest some guys. Um, there's some news about Emery Chan, maybe making a U-turn and, and, and signing anyway, which obviously, if you guys have been watching this channel, you know Emery Chan is my favorite player on the roster. So I would be totally uh, happy about that. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's good to know that Mane's situation isn't as serious as I may have thought it could have been, potentially. Um, and hopefully, you know... If he does play, start, whatever, it's not something that's aggravated. I got to believe Klopp is going to be pretty, pretty um, careful with that. Um, he, he would know more than myself and, and all of us, obviously. But um, moving on to Stoke. Listen, we know Stoke. They're, they're, they're fighting at the, at the bottom of the table. They're one of the teams that looks pretty likely to, to go down. So, again, they'll be fighting, trying to stay up. Um, there's been a lot of news about them on social media, certain players. Um, being banned from the team, um, not showing up for training. I think Hesse is one of the guys who's been just kind of a headache in that locker room for that team. Um, uh, there's another player, Afalai, I think, has some issues. So it looks like they, some of their guys are just, they've kind of given up on the season, on the manager, on the club, whatever. Um, and they got Shakiri. We know Shakiri is definitely money um, sometimes with these kind of tricks he pulls out the bag, these amazing shots on purpose or an accident, whatever, he can be kind of a spectacle out there. A uh, very muscular little kind of pit bull. Uh, but other than that, there's not much I feel like we need to worry about. Um, they do have Crouch. He's a, he's a big figure, and, and I know people have been saying that maybe that could be some good practice for our center backs, um, having to deal with Jekyll. Um, although I thought we did pretty well against him, obviously, until that, that one moment. But, um, yeah, it's a game we, we, we need to win, and we should win, honestly. And I think a couple of weeks ago, if you looked at these last few games, Chelsea was the only game that we thought maybe, um, you know, we, we might not be able to get the three points. Um, as it stands, we were, we're two draws on the bounce, um, still undefeated at home, and hopefully the undefeated situation continues at Anfield. Um, hopefully it's a fortress. Hopefully the, the fans are um, just as loud and proud as they were at Roma, honestly. You know, I know Roma... Champions League games, a different atmosphere, a different scenario. Um, I get it, but we, we need to be behind the team, um, support the team, and, and hopefully we can come through with flying colors. Um, but, yeah, the interesting situation would be the lineup and, and, and how we, we keep guys fit. Um, I love what Klopp said about uh, Ox. I just love his passion for the players and the, this, this game, the sport, um, football, and, and, you know, what he said about the team 
kind of waiting on ox like like a wife, a good wife would do um, for a husband in prison. And that's what it is, you know, because it's 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 unfortunate. It's unfortunate to have him, him out like that. But um, we're going to miss him. And um, it's, football is just really unfair sometimes. Life is, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. Um, so that's Stoke in a nutshell. Not much to say. We know what it is. We need to get the win. I'm definitely confident that we can get the win. Um, quickly on the second leg, anybody who's traveling, please be safe as you can, as much as you can. Um, we know how Italy gets on with their ultras and their fans. I mean, they've had stabbings or what they call pinchings um, and derby games between Roma and, and Lazio. So if they're willing to, to stab their own you know, fellow Italians, then you got to believe that they'll be trying to steer something up. And, and honestly, what happened to the fella um, there shouldn't, ha- shouldn't have happened. Um, it's really sad. And I think, right or wrong, there might be some Liverpool fans traveling up there with the sense of revenge within them. You know, um, what happened to him shouldn't have happened. And, you know, there's, there's, there's there are Italian journalists and, and, and people who are trying to paint a picture of, of Liverpool fans being troublemakers. You know, listen, we, we've known that. We've known what people say about us, um, Liverpool fans and all that. If you don't believe it, then don't feed into it. Um, that's, that's my thinking. Um, now, there's a scenario I think they're trying to paint that if something does happen, then they can say, well, see, Liverpool fans provoked these Italian fans, and this is why these things happen. So I hate to say it, but I think there'll be more bloodshed. I really do. And I just hope that we can keep it to a minimum and and people can hopefully get back safely. But I think there'll be tempers flaring before, during, and and probably after. So I just hope people are as safe as they can. Travel in packs. Do not be alone. And honestly, get stuck in and be ready to, sadly, protect yourself, your family, your kids whatever um it's a tough situation and unfortunately this is something that's part of football um and it is a part of football unfortunately off the field but uh you know we 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 uh we just gotta pray and and hope that you know guys are are, are safe women kids whatever are safe traveling up there and, and hopefully people are coming back in one piece um but yeah excited to see liverpool again i believe it's another early kickoff um i think lunchtime 12 o'clock yeah so um anyway that's it for me um thank you for everybody who's who's continued to 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 uh support the channel um your your warm words uh, special shout out to Liz for sure uh i really appreciate everything you've 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 um said all the kind words and and appreciation for the channel so um till next time guys ole, ole, ole. Ole, ole. Yeah.